Hello there guys and girls, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it very much easier thanks to a few legends and a discord server for the game of DayZ. Now originally this is meant to be a survival game battling zombies, eating and drinking so you don't die etc but thanks to the enormity and complete legendary status that is Kawi Ninja Rider 7 for originally setting it up Miza Joyous, I think I said that right, sorry if I butchered that there, Miza. Um, <laughs> for building off of Cowies anyway and making it even easier to get all the achievements and survivalist for actually funding the server. And also giving me permission to create this video for you because this game ca legitimately can be pointlessly confusing. But an absolutely incredible job by these guys though, so we are all completely humbled by it and appreciate it very much just for a few thousand of us to get an extra 1k added. But the goddamn gaming community is awesome! So, how do we actually start? So, first of all, we need to get onto the Great Valley Discord server. Now, it's, um, it's not a public one, so you can't just search for it in-game. I mean... You can search for it, but you need to be called what's uh, called whitelisted to get on. Basically, have permission. Now, the way to do this is go ahead on your phone and download Discord. D I S C O R D. Once downloaded, uh, go in and search for the Great Valley. T H E space G R E A T space V A L L E Y, with all spaces in between, obviously, like I just said. Now, few small steps to do. What we have to do is read through the hashtag welcome channel. Basically, um, if you flick to the uh, right on your screen, you'll have a sort of list um, come up. Um, what you'll have to do then is you should see a hashtag welcome channel. So click on that. Click the reaction for the achievement hunter role and anything else you find interesting to unlock the rest of the server channels. You have to do this first. Don't worry, this will all make sense, and I will put instructions, written instructions in the description box as well, as the written guide from TA to follow step by step. So after you do that, next we need to go to hashtag gamer roles and choose the day Z reaction. You'll just see a, literally a little thing with the word hashtag day Z on it. Then you should be able to ask to be put on the whitelist by commenting your gamer tag. And either Kawi, Miza, or Survivalist will tag you, saying you have been whitelisted, which means you're basically good to go, and then we can begin. So, I mean, it is a little effort to get on first, but trust me, it is extremely worth it. Honestly, the, the, the effort that these guys put in just for us is incredible. And again, a massive huge thanks to Kawi, Miza, and Sov for doing this. It's extremely appreciated, as, like I said, the game is a tricky completion. Legit. Now, we are looking at around 75 minutes for the completion, purely for having to wait until a beard grows, to be honest, which takes, as you guessed it, around 75 minutes. Um, also, we can get most, we can get literally all of the achievements solo except one, um, which is basically just for tying up a person 10 times. Uh, we will need other people to do that, but literally everyone is super helpful in the uh, Discord server, so you shouldn't have any problems with that, as long as you ask. Nicely, of course. So, with that being said then, let us begin, finally. So, what we need to do first then, is go up uh, to customize our character. Now, what we need to do, it's very important to make sure to be a, a male character. Because we need an achievement called Babyface, and that is for shaving our beard, which you cannot get as a woman. Or it takes considerably longer, I don't know, but <laughs> very important to be a male. Pick whatever outfit you want, that's all good. I'm going bald because I'm almost there. <laughs> and then we can press play. Now, this is the important bit. Press the right bumper to go over to community, as you can see on the left-hand side there. And now, mine's already up, but basically what you need to do is type in, in the spacebar on the right, The Great Valley. So, all spaces, capital T, G, and V. Spell it exactly the way I have there, the Great Valley. Press start, and then press the X button to uh, basically reload it, load it up. You'll see it there, the Great Valley. Just click on that. As long as that's on community, then what it should do is, you should see this screen then. Loading in 15 seconds. Takes a tiny bit to get into, but you should then see the screen. Now, remember, of course, 
There will be other players, but they are all respected. So, you know, don't be a jerk off because you will get banned anyway. So be nice, be respectful, help others get the any achievements. Just try not to be a jerk off because, again, like I said, any... The, to be fair to Survivalist and the others, they take no crap. And you will get banned pretty much straight away and you have to fight your case. So what are you going to do then? You're going to um, open up... You're basically going to load in here. Now I've already got a backpack, but I'm going to show you where to get it, where we need to get it first. Head straight to this car. And then you've got to press the select button. Now you think you press the X button and then it opens up the menu, but it's not. It's a very confusing menu. We need to press the select button. And then we can look at the uh, inventory of the car. Press the left bumper a couple of times to go over. Um, basically got three menus there. Vicinity on the left, hands in the middle, and our equipment and things on the right. You need to go all the way down. Um, if you can't scroll down with the D-pad or whatever, just use the right trigger. And then... Press the X button when you're on one of these bags, or the Y button, sorry, it's the X button to put things into your inventory, and then it's the Y button to equip them. Uh, but very quickly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but as of this recording, Daisy is bloody typically leaving Game Pass on the 15th of May. So you've got roughly around two weeks to get in, smash this one out. And luckily, it only takes around an hour, but be aware, the Great Valley Discord servers may now be a little more packed, and sadly, the game costs over 40 pissing quid. So after it leaves, waiting for a sale would be your best bet. Tip, why, cow? So after you've got your backpack, head to the truck... And the orange truck basically straight in front of you. Again, press the select button. There's going to be a few items that we're going to be needing now. So, this then. Um, you may be able to find it in this first truck. If not, there's another truck a little further down the road. So, the first thing you're going to be picking up is three of these rags. So, you need to press the X button. Again, when you're on three of these rags to swap them over to your inventory. Grab a couple of apples as well because, of course... This is a survival game, so we need to be eating and drinking to keep up our health and everything. And we also need to be grabbing three sticks, or three logs. So make sure to grab three rags and three logs, and then we can grab the rest of the items. The first one, then, is a knife, the hunter's knife. Uh, the next one, again, is an apple. You can grab a couple of them. There is literally a car full of them as well, which I'll show you in a bit. The next will be the cola. The... Uh, <laughs> The very aptly, but not very subtle, Coca-Cola, which is not called Coca-Cola. The raw steak, make sure to grab that. Don't eat it because you're going to poop your pants to death. Then we need some matches, so grab some matches. Next, we need a flare. So we need a flare, and then, well, the hand drill kit. Then we, all we need then is a flare and a long stick. So that should be knife, apple, cola, raw steak matches, flare, hand drill kit, and long stick. All of these are going to come in complete handy, I promise you. We're not just doing things for the sake of doing things. And like I said, so it, yeah, if those items weren't in the first truck, you can have a look in the second truck and they'll normally be there. Respawns and things like that, sometimes the trucks will disappear after sort of every 10 minutes or so. Um, but they will be back within a minute with the truck fully... Uh, reloaded once again so just in case you're wondering if something disappears like you'll see on the game here as well um, yeah so that's just in case something disappears it's just respawning so you're never going to run out of anything by the way to eat something because this is confusing if you want to keep your um, strength up and everything you need to go to the apple press a to put it in your hands and then you should see the right trigger with the word eat next to it so as long as you've got something in your hands, you should be able to use the right trigger to eat it. It'll be the same with pills, it'll be the same with drinks, anything like that. So that's what you need to do. So when you're on the inventory, press A to put it in your hands. And then you'll be able to eat it like that. There is an achievement for eating and drinking something as well. So we need to put the firewood in our hands. And now next go to a rag, any rag, jizz rag, cum rag, whatever. And then press the B button <laughs> to combine it. And then hold the right trigger to place a campfire. So you put, like I said, so you put the firewood. We need to do three of these anyway. So as you'll be able to see now, press the B button to get back up, by the way. So yeah, so go down to firewood. Press A to put it in your hands. 
and then go to any jizz rag you've got left. I wouldn't blow your nose with it, mind. And then press the B button <laughs> to combine it. Hold the right trigger, and we will build the uh, campfire. By the way, the controls in the game can be quite finicky. So as you can see there, I accidentally pressed the B button twice, and it put my uh, jizz rag away for some reason. I wonder where. Um, but yeah, so uh, again, you'll be able to see this game can be glitchy. Genuinely, I'm sorry to say it's not a very good game to play legit and whoever played it legit I goddamn salute you because I couldn't I lost my crap doing it the easy server way, but that's fine um, Yeah, so well done everyone who done this legit I will give you no pounds for your efforts, but all my love So we need to do one more then so again combine the rag with the firewood again by pressing the B button when the firewood's in your hand and again, this is for another achievement as well. So remember the flare and the matches and the long stick that we picked up earlier? Yeah, we need to um, basically light fires in three different ways. So the way, first way we're going to do it is with the hand drill. So go to your inventory, hover over it, press the A button again to put it into your hands. It's, quite honestly, this whole process is just a needlessly pointless um uh, menu, inventory menu to be honest. And then what you need to do next to any campfire, you're just supposed to press the right trigger. But as you can see, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Um, doesn't take too long to, you know, we, we'll just go to another one now, but for some reason it was just stopping about halfway through. So you guys can Sigma, we're gonna go to the next one. So again, hold the right trigger there until you see the beautifulness that is a fire. Fire! There it is. Walk away from it, of course, so you don't burn yourself. That always helps. All right, so we've done it once with a hand drill kit. <laughs> done it once, that sounds wrong. Next, we are going to be lighting a fire with matches. Again, this is just as easy, so head over to matches, wherever they may be. I am the lord of the match, said he. Press A to put them in your hands. And then right trigger again to put them onto the uh, log fire, or the campfire, or the something fire, or the wood. Burn your wood. That sounds wrong in the eyes of every man waking up in the morning. Now, again, this is what I mean though by the, the finickiness of these controls. You can actually just press the right trigger and it should still work for you. Um, but I didn't realise that, so I was just still waiting for the right trigger to appear, which it does, eventually. So, it's a shame. This game could have been so, so good for zombie lovers and things, but... Sadly, it wasn't meant to be. And you're gonna chuck, it's gonna cost people 40 bucks when it leaves Game Pass. Hmm, interesting. So, what we need to do now is get out your long stick. <laughs> that means two things. Um, but again, press A then. And then also, what we need to do, uh, basically, we need to make this into a sharpened stick. And there's basically two achievements that we're gonna be getting. And so, the f so, get your hunting knife. And then press the B button to combine it with your stick. And then, well, I'll have to do it again accidentally there. So make sure the long stick's in your hand. Go to your hunting knife, press the B button. And then press and hold the right trigger until we've put that into a sharpened stick. Now, for some odd reason, you don't actually pick it up automatically. So make sure to pick it up. And then next, we are getting our first achievement, actually, of the game. So now we need to go to the raw stake. We need to, again, equip the sharpened stick. That will be in your equipment menu at the top. Should have been. Uh, so we're going to put that in and then press the Y button on the raw stake to equip it to your sharpened stick. Go to any fire, press and hold the right trigger until it does one full circle and your stake is a juicy, beautiful bad boy. Although, in this world, I wouldn't know where to get that from. That probably comes with super aids, but... Hey, you're hungry, so it really doesn't matter. So, you're going to see it change colour. As soon as you do, then you can get rid of... You can stop holding the right trigger button. There it is. Oh, delicious! Nice. 
So there we go, achievement unlocks. That is a nice easy one, and now we can get the second achievement for lighting all three fire uh, camps with different things. So the next one we're going to be doing is getting our flare out, not our apple, because science says you can't light a fire with an apple, and I'm inclined to agree. Uh, so <laughs> just get out your road flare. Again, press A to put it into your hands. Press the right trigger once to turn it on. You should have seen that again at the bottom left hand corner. And then, now the it's not going to appear for me, but you can, or you should be able to, press and hold the right trigger on it. There it goes, so I just did it anyway and it worked. By the way, apologies, I forgot to mention that if you click in the left stick, you've probably already figured that out, but that is what makes you sprint in the game. Uh, sorry, forgot to mention that earlier, my bad, my bad, love me, please. Because I love you guys, I goddamn love you guys. Anyway. We are going to be getting the achievement for eating and drinking. Now, we've already eaten an apple, so you can get out the n hilariously named not a cola. Equip it to your hands, right trigger to drink it. Job done. Uh, that's literally all it is then. So you can um, just eat an apple, drink this cola, or you can drink from the water fountain by the lighthouse. And that's it. Of course... Now, drinking, I didn't have to drink much through the game at all to keep my thirst up, but I did have to eat quite a bit. So it's always worth and always very handy to keep a good couple of apples on you. They're not that poisonous, so they're all good. Now, I already unlocked the achievement before I started recording very stupidly, so you won't see me unlock it here. But you will get the achievement now for eating and drinking something. So there we go. But for now, I'm going to show you where to get a load of apples and pills, because again, you can get ill in the game. So it's always worth just um, putting up these pills, and here it is in this white car right by the sea, very close to the lighthouse. And as you can see, if you press the left bumper to go to the uh, left-hand side screen, you can just press X on a good couple of apples, a good couple of pills. And it's always worth just keeping them in your inventory, in case you see, obviously, on the right-hand side. If it gets into the red zone, that means, no, 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 that's bad. So you need to eat or pill yourself up. Now, if we go over to the lighthouse, there is a water fountain here. So if for whatever reason you can't get any <laughs> hilariously aptly named Nauticolas, you can just press and hold the X button to drink from this water fountain. Again, probably comes in zombie piss flavor, but hey, it's what you got to do to survive, Hon, you know? So, coming up to our next achievement now, we're going to go down to these trucks, very close to the river, press the select button on them, and we're basically going to be shooting uh, NPCs from around 300 meters away. So again, press the left bumper to go over to the left-hand side menu. Uh, now, this again can be very confusingly and pointlessly complicated, so get out this, the VCSG, or whatever the hell it's called, the sniper rifle. You can put that to your hand straight away. And then what you need to do, go over to the scope and then press the X button to put that into your inventory. And then get a couple of these um, bits of ammo as well. Chuck around three or four and that should be fine. Um, but it, it, it's very needlessly complicated again just to put a gun together. So make sure you've got a good couple of ammo there. So for the sniper rifle we should now have it. Um, you can equip it. Straight away, that shouldn't actually be a problem, but I've just put everything into my inventory for now, so this is where I'm going to as Avengers assemble it. Very poorly, I'd be a crap Avenger myself, judging <laughs> judging by the look of this. So again, put the sniper rifle, we can put that straight into our hands by pressing the A button. You don't actually have to equip it, um, but go over to the scope and then press Y, and that will equip itself onto said sniper rifle. As you can see, so pressing the white button, you should be able to do that, and then go to the ammo. Um, you'll be able to see, I'll do it at the top here, but go onto your ammo and then press the B button to combine that with the sniper rifle in your hand. Again, it's so pointlessly complicated, it really didn't need to be, but hey, developers know best, right? So yeah, so you have to go on the ammo, press the B button to combine it. So again, that's sniper rifle in your hands with the A button, Y on the scope to... Um, put the scope on and then press the B button to combine the ammo with the sniper rifle. So what I do is hold the B button until you're lying down. Now to aim properly what you need to do is press the left trigger and then click the right stick in 
to get to this bit and then press right on the d-pad to actually be able to scope out these uh, NPCs. Now what you can do from here, you can actually hold the left stick in to sort of hold your breath, which makes it a bit easier, and then press the right trigger to um, shoot. Again, over the top, pointlessly complicated, but that's how it is. So left trigger to, <laughs> left trigger to aim, click the right stick in to go to the next bit, press right on the d-pad to aim through the scope, and then you can shoot. Just, just unbelievable. <sighs> Honestly, again, so much potential this game had. But hey, it's easy achievements thanks to the legends that are Mizar, Survivalist, and Kawi Ninja. God damn, I love you guys. And all we need to do then is just kill one of these guys, and the achievement should eventually unlock. It may take a little while, it, it took me about 10 minutes personally, because my shooting is as... Sh <laughs> I'd say shit hot, but it's more shit not. So, when we get that achievement for killing one of these guys, we can now run down, and... Now we are going to skin a deer. Now, of course, again, thanks to the three legends, um, everything's just should all be in the same place as you find in the video. So we're going to head to the path, just so you know where we are there. There's only one path, so you should be fine. And just off the grass, on the right, you're going to see a couple of deers. Now, again, this was a tricky one <laughs> in the real world, in the legit world. But what we're going to do is kill one, kill two, it depends how much of a jerk-off you want to be. Because you know what people are like with um, hunting and stuff. Oof, man, they hate it. Which is a fair point. And then what we need to do then, we need to get out our knife. Because that's the only way that we can skin a deer. You can't do it with your with your boner or anything, you know. Now, if you try and equip, uh, put the knife into your hands, you can't. Um, you might be able to, but basically we've run out of space on our t-shirt. So what we need to do is press the left bumper once to go to hands. Press the X button then to put that into inventory, and then we can go and press the A button on the knife. That'll put in the hands. Now you should be able to press and hold the right trigger to skin that bad boy. Wear it as a hat, or do a Tom Green, who, by the way, is an awful comedian. I don't like him at all. But for some reason, he cut open a deer, or he lay inside of a deer for some reason. Anyway, I'm moving off track. As long as we do that, then we get the achievement sound. And I'm... Um, Sorry to all Tom Green fans. I, I do apologize. But next we are going to kill a couple of zombies. Now, you would have probably heard a couple of zombies and you were probably thinking, where the hell are they? But they're just down in that ditch there. They can't get you, so again, don't panic. But we're going to go to this blue truck now. And we're going to get be getting a different gun. Now, what you're supposed to do, we're going to get this... Um, uh, the KA-74... AK-47, that's hilarious. But we need to put that into our hands. Now, if you don't, if you can't do it for whatever reason, just drop a few things from your inventory in each one until you're able to put it over to your, uh, put the gun over to your inventory. Now, for some reason, it wasn't working until I got rid of a few things out of my own inventory. So when we could have done that, that was all good. Of course, don't forget to pick up some ammo as well for the gun. And obviously press the B button to combine it. Now, apologies that this is the night time. I can't control that. And there we go. So all the zombies should be there. Kill a couple. And you should unlock two achievements. One called Act of Mercy. There we go. Eventually, they should unlock. <laughs> you can't get me. Suck my bows. Suck me dry. Actually, I wouldn't ask a zombie to suck anything. Because they would... Oh, they would tear them to shreds. Ouch. I'm not up for that. And then we get the pacify achievement as well. So you should get two achievements. Happy days. But what we can do now is actually just get rid of a lot of things. So we can get rid of the hand drill kit. Um, a lot of the rags. You don't really need that many apples either. But you know me, just overly paranoid. Remember to keep checking on your uh, menu there at the bottom. If anything's in the yellow or getting close to the red. Make sure to eat, uh, pop some pills, get yourself nice and off it. Because then when you die, it won't matter as much. But yeah, we don't need any rags. Um, I accidentally get rid of the ammo but uh, for the sniper rifle, uh, which we do need. So if you 
accidentally do drop some or you need a little bit more, uh, my advice is, I mean, you can go and grab some at any time from the truck down by the river, uh, but we are going to need some of that sniper rifle ammo a little bit later on, so just make sure you're a little bit on your person. Uh, otherwise, for now, what we are going to be doing is um, bandaging, bandaging up some NPCs. Now, like I said, 12 out of the 13 achievements you can get solo, but of course, you, like I said, you'll be playing with other players too. Uh, you basically need to handcuff 10 players as well, and this is the car where you get it from. So, from the truck on the left, if you head all the way basically to the end, close to where we shot the deers. Um, sorry about that deer. <laughs> sorry about that deer. Press the select when you get to this orange looking car, or red, it's hard to tell in the night. And then, if, again, if we scroll over to the left-hand side menu with the left bumper button, you're going to see all of these bandages. So, again, press X on, you know, 8 to 10. That'll be fine. And you're also going to see these uh, ropes as well, which we're going to need for a little bit later on as well. Don't worry, of course, there will be a load there anyway. Um, but for now, just pick up as many bandages as you can. Honestly, this inventory system <laughs> really is confusing because you think you got something, but you actually haven't, and then you thought you got something equipped, but it's actually not in your inventory. Why? Anyway, we are going to be getting just a cheeky another achievement before we go and rescue those NPCs from, I don't know, stiffness or something, as you'll be able to see. So we're going to head down to the second truck again. Basically, we need to uh, get another long stick. What we need is to be equipping a melee weapon, a firearm, and a backpack. Now, the way to do this, if we grab the long stick, basically we need to turn that into a sharpened uh, a sharpened stick. Now, the way I do it, I just keep the gun in my hand. So, again, whatever gun you've got, sniper rifle or KA-47, ha, <laughs> hilarious. Put that in your hands, and then what we can do, as soon as we get this long stick, we can... Simply equip it with the white button, that'll go into your backpack, and the achievement should unlock. Now, I think what you're meant to do is uh, sharpen it with a knife like we did earlier, to turn that into a sharpened stick, and then put everything in your backpack. But, like I said, we've got a backpack on, just put the gun in your hands, any gun in your hands, and then go ahead and equip the long stick, long sharpened stick. And then the achievement should unlock here. There you go. Sometimes it does take a couple of seconds to unlock, but there we go, all geared up. And no, in terms of gym-related stuff, <laughs> any gym buffs watching, I don't mean geared up as in steroided up. Which is a shame, because that would have been a fun part in this game. Get yourself on steroids, survive another way. So anyway, we're going to head back to the car. Now, like I said, if you haven't picked up any bandages or anything, which you probably should have, this is the car that we do it in. Sorry, a couple of uh, weird edits there. I was trying to figure out how to eat a pill. Um, and it's just getting it out. It's just like eating an apple. So head over to this building here on the left-hand side. Now, for some reason, there was a zombie here for me. There shouldn't be any zombies for you. But if there is one, um, you can actually just press the left trigger and then the right trigger to beat the crap out of him and kill the zombie. So you shouldn't have too many um, efforts there. But look at him, scratching that ass. Hey, don't make my ass bleed, bruh. So, what we need to do, for two achievements, we need to kill 15 NPCs. Easy enough, because these people who you kill respawn in 10 minutes anyway. And we need to bandage 30 people as well. Now, it does count when you bandage the same person. So, like, as you can see here then, it does take a while for the... NPC to get hit, but what you can do, basically, you can uh, hit them with a knife five times, equip the bandage into your hands, oops, sorry, accidentally punched you, ah, ah, screw off, dickhole, I'm trying to show all my lovely viewers how to get stuff, you goddamn butthole, so there's me thinking I could kill him when I had no bullets, so, plus strike one for me for being a douchebag noob head. 
Anyway, can we get back to it now? Should be fine. As long as you're not next to the zombie, you should generally be fine. He's concentrating on slicing up some ass. Weird. So like I said, what you need to do, equip your knife, press the left trigger and then the right trigger to hit him. Hit him about four or, f uh, well, about five times. Try, you know, you can kill him. We need it for an achievement, but I'm trying to show you the bandage one. God damn it. <laughs> but that's what you can do. You, we can actually keep uh, bandaging at the same person. So again, you're going to hit the one person five times. There we go. Just hit him five times. And then what we need to do is, again, press select. Get our inventory out. Put the bandage in our hand. There we go. And then you should have a trigger. There you go, the right trigger. And that should be able to bandage people up. So then what you can do, I, I um, skip forward a little bit to go to the end, but what you can do is hit them five times, bandage them up, hit them twice, again with a knife, and then get another bandage out, and then you should be able to um, bandage them up a couple of times. So you can literally do it up to two or three times. It, it doesn't really take that long, but, you know, it, it sort of takes about ten minutes or so. But that's what you can do then. So... To summarise, hit them with a knife a couple of times, get the bandage out, as long as they've got the right trigger option to heal them up, then that literally counts as many times as it, as you can possibly do it before you kill them, which is always nice. Again, um, the it all counts as well, all tracks, so you can double check if you're wanting to. Um, so yeah, that's that's the best way to do that then. Hit them a couple of times, get your bandage out, and then just bandage them up as many times as it would allow you, and just keep going through that. Very simple, and like I said, if you do end up running out of people, they, they respawn after 10 minutes anyway, so job done. So we're going to slice and dice. Again, it, it obviously will take, you know, quite a while to do it this way, but I just found this just the best way. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, slice and dice, bandage them up until you kill them, and then move on to the next victim. Oh, and I do believe this is the last guy. So, yes, um, for melee killing 15 people. Oh, <laughs> nice bars there, buddy. They're looking a bit a bit worse for wear there, bruh. I want to get them checked out if you weren't so stiff and dead. <laughs> stiff and dead. Anyway, so like I said, all we're doing, we're just carrying on with the bandages for now. I think it's either this guy or the next guy. Um, but I... You know, I obviously don't want to just edit it down where you see what happens in 30 seconds and then we move on. You know, we, we will take our time. But of course, just pause the video when I unlock the achievements here. But again, you just keep on doing that. Slice once or twice and then bandage once or twice. Slice twice, slice twice. Chicken pasty tikka slice. Until the achievement unlocks. Oh man. Oh, there you go then, so it turns out it was this guy. It, uh, yeah, again, that one can be confusing first, but hopefully I explained it in such a way that it's not so bad. Now, this is where we need to be getting the sniper rifle ammo, so again, if you haven't got any yet, just nip down to the truck uh, where we got the marksman achievement earlier on, you know, the truck's by the river, by the lighthouse, get some ammo for yourself, combine it with your sniper rifle, and then what you need to do is just headshot uh, 15 NPCs. So that's all we've got to do. Um, you can free aim like this if you want. It's a, a little bit trickier. Again, it's finicky. As in, this may even take you way more than 15 people. And somehow, wow, what a sh night schnot I am. Can't even hit them from about one yard away. Go me, bruh. Well, snipers, not good. Not good. But yeah, again, like I said, this can be finicky. Uh, the, the progress tracker, it may take you up to 30, maybe 35 people to kill. But again, if you want to do it the easier way, which would be the scope way, of course, remember it. Um, left trigger to aim, click in the right stick, and then press right on the D-pad to get the scope out. Why that's a thing, I don't know, but it's how it goes. 
So yeah, I think it took me about 20, 21 people personally to kill these guys. So just keep going around. Again, there are plenty of guys about and they do respawn after 10 minutes if you run out anyway. So, do not panic me little friends. You're all goddamn fantastic. You can do this. Ah, screw you zombie dickhole. Come on, game, come on, give me my goddamn achievement already. So, yeah, you've seen I was on like 90% earlier, or 95%, and it took me considerably a few more to kill. So, we've only got two achievements left now. Now, this is where we need an extra person. And for me, the absolute love of my life, Big Batty Dish, thank you so much for this. You absolute legend for helping me out with this. So, like I said, you need to go over to this car and press the select button on it and get the rope out from it. Now, what you were supposed to have seen was an epic battle of me tying up... Um, Mr. Big Batty Dish, the absolute legend. Again, thank you so much, man, for helping me out. Love you, buddy. But <laughs> what you were supposed to see was me tying him up with the same character in the daytime. Here he is. Hello, beautiful. What's going on? Um, but sadly, I forgot to press record like an absolute stupid bastard. So I forgot to press record, you would have seen an awesome fight with two zombies that appeared out of nowhere as well. But like I said, I forgot to press record, so that's why I'm doing this with two completely random characters. So yes, you need to press select, uh, get ten ropes. Uh, you can only have to pick up a couple because you can pick them up off the floor. What you need to do is obviously <laughs> put one of the ropes into your hands, get rid of the, the extra backpack I had for some damn reason. And then you should be able to press the right trigger to tie them up. Takes a couple of seconds. Now you can use the knife on it as well to to um, to take him off, but uh, that'll damage the knife and damage the rope as well. So your friend or whoever it is can press the right trigger to tie themselves free. I'm just gonna watch uh, Batty here, Big Batty Dish, just do it from down there. That's some good uh, releasing yourself there, pal. God damn, that's fantastic. So you need to do this just a total of 10 times. Like I said, again, you won't see the achievement unlock for me on screen because, like I'm stupid douchenbaggen, I didn't press record. So, <laughs> I am stupid. But that's still fine. So yeah, just do this 10 times. It literally, it doesn't take more than 10 minutes, to be honest, to be able to do this. It's, uh, uh, you know, absolutely simple. But again... Like I said, even if you do complete the achievements and everything, please do not be a jerk off and kill someone or punch them. Again, you'll be banned anyway, but just, you know, everyone's trying to get the achievements, especially now that it's leaving before um, it, in the next two weeks. So 
there you go doing that 10 times then that should unlock the achievement for you no problem and again just be nice be happy and then what we're going to see i think and we're going to do it once more and then what you're going to see is the fight upon all fights anthony joshua versus tyson fury but even better just wait just watch ding ding mother is bold rocky versus big rocky here we go you don't actually have to fight you can just uh tie each other up and then we can just move on but of course oh, we are fighting because um we were allowed we got permission so <laughs> this is fine don't do this don't do this after <laughs> in real life <laughs> see it was a fight to the death but ah i'm sorry big baddy dish i'm sorry bro but i have the baldness within me so, what we need to do, we are back now with my original game, so we're going to head now down to the lighthouse. Basically, the only achievement. Again, thanks so much for that, man. Absolutely legend for helping me out. But what we're going to do then is, basically, you've got to wait um, 75 in-game minutes for your face to grow a little bit of pubic stubble. So again, if we head over to the car, right here, load yourself up on apples and pills... The, literally, I think I had to wait another 20, 25 minutes. I only, I only had to eat two or three apples. Um, but it's obviously always worth stocking up because the last thing you want to do is get to this point and then die when you've got like 10 minutes of waiting left because, my God, wouldn't that piss your balls off? I know it would mind. Um, so, yeah. Pop a pill. That's what I would do as well. Just pop a pill. Just make sure that you're not uh, getting any ill effects. You've got the drink fountain here. So literally, that is all we're doing, is just waiting. Um, um, yeah, there's really not a lot else to say about this bit, to be honest. Uh, eat an apple, keep your strength up, drink until all it, everything's just in the white there. And what you need to do then is just get your knife out, press the right trigger when you see the button prompt, and then that'll be that. So let's just skip a couple of minutes. Let's skip, say, 25 minutes or so, is it? Yeah, because it is. It doesn't matter what you do. It is always 75 in-game minutes until we're able to shave and get the baby face achievement. So let's skip up a couple of minutes, shall we, boys? Girls? Lads and ladies? So again, obviously it doesn't matter where you are. I sort of stayed around in the lighthouse um, and then I ended up just in the factory with all the NPCs. Literally makes no difference. You're just running around having a look at the map. But as you'll be able to see there, as, as long as you've got your hunter's knife equipped, you will now see the right trigger prompt on the bottom left hand corner, which enables you to shave. Um, yeah, so like I said, as long as you were eating, popping some pills, making yourself not hungry and not ill, job would be a god damn good one so again thank you so much to survivalist thank you so much to cowie ninja 7 and thank you so much to mizar you guys are absolute legends so here we are then get your knife out press the right trigger absolutely appreciate it thank you for giving me permission to make this video now i'm pretty sure that the uh, great valley server will still go on even after this leaves discord so if it does come on sale in the future or anything you will be able to still um get it this way um but like i said that should be that so thank you so so much to absolutely everyone involved in getting this uh, server up and making the achievements so so simple for us you guys are absolute legends thank you so ever so much for watching as well Hope this guide helped, and I hope we, as we always do, have a couple of laughs along the way. Um, if it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon as well. By the way, a big shout out to absolutely everyone on Patreon who uh, continues to support the channel. I absolutely love you guys. And, well, that is that then, guys and gals. Oh, just as I'm spewing up black from eating raw super aid steak that's delicious <clears throat> nice yeah <laughs> so that's it then guys and gals hey listen i'll see you in the next one big big guys and big gals anyway see you in the next one i'm out my headshot big love baby big love <laughs>